All right, Greg, what do you got for us round two? All right, uh, I got a theta play as well. Uh, it's bearish for you, just for you, my, bu my buddy uh, who doesn't like bear trades. Um, Visa, this thing is getting absolutely crushed. Uh, big old head and shoulders pattern here. Uh, just trying to break below that 200. Uh, entry for us would be below this, the low of today's candle. Um, what I really like about this is the weekly chart. The weekly chart here showing you it's it's sitting right on that. So not only has it broken your your 20 weekly here, we're getting a death cross on the weekly and it's trying to hold support at this 50 here, uh, 50 weekly MA. So this thing just does not look pretty. Doesn't look it doesn't look pretty from a bullish standpoint. Anyway, from a, a bearish standpoint, uh, I think it looks fantastic. Honestly, you could play this directionally. Um, you know, you've got old support here that's going to fail at the same time. Uh, target wise, if you played it directionally, I'd be looking at the 210. However, I want to go even safer on this. I don't really care that it drops uh, down to 210 or wherever it goes, because I'm looking to do a put up, uh, sorry, a, a bear call on this. So the bear call that I like is looking at the, what did I, I think I did the 30 days out here. Yes, I did. Uh, so the 235, and I'll show you on the chart in a second. So the 235 sell that, buy the 240 for 61 cent credit. Now, if we look at where this is, uh, 230 is here, 235 is right up about here. So you've got two moving averages, you've got levels of resistance. Uh, it, this thing's got to make a heck of a comeback. Uh, to get there and it's only got 30 days to do it so um, like I said I wouldn't enter this trade until it got below here at that point in time you might only get say 57 58 cents for it as opposed to the 61 which is fine you're getting over your 10 percent and you've got lots of protection between there and your short strike price uh, so just a, a visa's getting beat down I don't think you can argue with it it looks really beaten down as far as I'm concerned on the weekly as well uh, it's lost a few levels of support, moving averages. Like I said, that that death cross of the nine and the twenty. Uh, I just think I think it's uh, it's fallen. So, no, I love. I mean, I immediately went to look where the twenty weekly was, and your strike price was above that. That checks the boxes for me. You take a trade like this, Cody? I would take a trade like that. I like the idea that, and the way that <clears throat> Greg put it is perfectly, is it has to get back up to that level in order for you to be in any real risk. And it's got 30 days to do that. It, do I think that something that's been in this pattern and this bearish look that it has going to recover that much in 30 days, the, the odds aren't with it. So I do like the trade as a data trade. No, I, no, I mean, standard textbook. Uh, I mean, it's got, I mean, it's got to have so many things happen, right? You got to reverse course. Then you got to fight through daily moving averages and then you have to not have a very like one bearish retracement probably wins you the trade like even if you get going and then you get you know uh, uh you know the, the, the a bearish retracement that works out that probably i mean that buys you all the time you need and this guy get through weeklies and i mean my gosh almighty that's a lot of junk for it to fight through that's a lot of junk all right who wants yeah. to go first on joke round uh, oh, other, did you have another thought greg yeah just the other part of this too is getting in here below this would again get you down below this uh, 200 moving average. So the 200 moving average, that's a line in the sand for investors, not even traders, just investors. Oh yeah, and that's they, not even counting that this thing just doesn't drop and it's an automatic win, right? <laughs> exactly. So when when you see that 200, if it falls below that, uh, it's a game changer. You're talking institutions don't like that. Long-term investors don't like that. It, it's it's a game changer as far as I'm concerned. So that's yeah, when Buffett dumped his visa stock I, yeah, I haven't traded visa to the bullish side since then trust uncle warren trust uncle yep. warren great company yep. just overvalued yep now is your joke overvalued cody uh, or is it, it just the right amount of value oh uh, it, it, it's a shorter joke um my son's getting old enough that he uh asked about the human body i guess i should really find a better hiding place for that thing <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, disgusting. Nice. Greg, going, what do you got? Going dark. All right. Um, I'll go with an easy one today. What's the difference between a hippo and a zippo? What? One is really heavy and the other is a little lighter. 
<laughs> All right, I got one too. Uh, My daughter loved this one. Uh, it's a different type of joke, but she loved it. She was her favorite. She la- it's the one she laughed the hardest at. Dear Math, grow up and solve your own problems. And she thought it was hilarious. That is, that is funny. That is funny. <laughs> 